Good day, everybody. This is Bobby and Jai with Time to Get Going. We've been asked by numerous people about doing translation for our videos because they don't understand us. So in this video, I'm going to share what I think is the easiest way to add subtitles in your description and closed captioning. There may be easier ways, but I haven't found it. With YouTube, whenever you do your uploads, it shows you where you can add the subtitles. That isn't the best spot because at that point you have to provide a transcript that you have to try to make fit into the file as it's playing or you actually have to type everything in as you go. That doesn't sound very easy to me. So I'm going to share the way that I figured out that seems to work the best for me. Just go ahead and save in Unlisted. Starting from your home page, you'll have to go into YouTube Studio. And then from YouTube Studio, you'll drop down to where it says Subtitles. Click on that. And then that'll open up to where you can do any one of the videos that are there. Just click on the one that you want to do, the language edition. At this point, you'll go over here to where it says duplicate and edit. So then it opens this screen and you can go in and make whatever corrections needs to be made on it. Um, you can press the play button and then you'll see where some of the words were incorrect. So you can just go in and make the corrections for the things that are said wrong. Type it in to what it's supposed to say. And then you can go down and play it back and see that it says it the way you want it to say it. So now that it's all corrected, you'd go up to the upper right corner there and just click that publish button and it'll go on to the next step. Now you can click on Add Language and choose any of the selections here in the scroll down menu. I usually choose about 30 of them and then you can go in here and add your translation. You've already made sure it's all correct. So then you click the Translate and it'll translate the language that you've selected. Then you go down and publish it. Then the next step would be to go over and do the subtitles closed captioning. And it's in a different location. It says auto translate now. So you click on it and it'll auto translate everything that you've already put in there. And then you click the publish. Now you can just continue on adding as many languages as you want to from this point. And like I said earlier, I usually do about 30 different languages. So now at this point, I have all the languages in there that I want to have in it. So I go in, it's kind of a repetitious deal. You just click on it and do the translate. And it'll translate all the various different languages, just publish. And it's repetitious throughout the whole thing. So it's actually very simple. I usually go through and do all the title and description lines first and after I get them all done then I'll go back and start on the closed caption subtitles. If you found this content useful please consider reaching down there and hit the like and subscribe button. It'll help us keep us motivated to do more later. So now to make sure everybody knows how to use it go to content and open up to where you can play the video on YouTube. Now make sure closed captioning is turned on. And then you can go to the settings wheel there, open it, and look at the subtitles. Click on where it says whatever the language is. And then you can scroll through and find any of the languages that have been translated and click on it and you'll see that it switches over to the new language. So hopefully everybody 
can handle this pretty easily. It, it'll help open up for everybody to reach a wider range audience. And I'm fulfilling something that was asked me to do. So please again, reach down there and smash that like, subscribe. We'd appreciate it. This is Bobby and Jai with Time to Get Going. Out.